Hey, welcome everyone to a new game of Catan. So let's have a look at the board. So I see two spots, the 5A10 and the 5 9 over here. Where the 5A10 is, in my opinion, uh, well, much stronger than the 5 9 10. Um, so definitely, I should take the 8 5 10 here. And as a second pick, I do think the 5 9 10 is pretty good as well. Um, what do we see more? So, what do we see more here? Yeah, so, yeah, the only good ore spot is over here. We do have the wood and wheat board. I don't know if that would be very useful, though. I do see some sheep and wood spots over here as well. Yeah, it's an it's a interesting board. I do think the obvious first choice is the 8 5 10, but the 5 9 10 is also strong. 11 points of production. And, well, you can combine it with a lot of spots, I think. The 6 3 4, the 6 11 12, even. Um, but I do think the 3 for 8 and maybe the 6 for 2 will be open as well for us. Getting with the sheep board, that could also be a strong option for getting some extra wheat income. Um, I could also see someone placing it here and build to the 8 ore, but then you need a good brick with it. And yeah, I'm not sure. I do think 3 for 8 can be strong as well, but you don't get a good guarantee or spot. So I think I will just stay with the, the 5, 9, 10 and go from there on. But it might be difficult to be second, honestly, in this space, in this case. I think the 5, 8, 10 is very good. And I think you will get some sheep because, well, you could e either getting the 6-3 or the 6-2. I could see that. It's not great, of course, but you all have the resource for all your sheep. Yeah, it's a pretty balanced, but I do think the 3 for 8, I think that is uh, the third best pick, in my opinion, because you will get the rare brick here, because the 9-10, yeah, it's not that great production. And the 3 for 8, you can combine it with the 4, 5, 11, or maybe you can take the 3, 8, 10 as well, but then you let the 8, 4 open. I do think 3 for 8 is really strong. And yeah, where can you combine it with? I think the 4, 5, 11, maybe the 6, 11, 12. Or just, uh, yeah. It's also not that clear as a third position, in my opinion. But you will get a good wheat spot. So I think I would I want to go for the 3 for 8. Yeah. And you either get the 3 for 5, I think, or the 6, 11, 12, or the 6 for 11, what you would prefer. Don't like that road inwards, though, because, uh, well, especially on if the desert is not on the coast, all the spots in the middle are likely to be taken. However, though, if someone plays on the 9-10, what I could see happening here in this particular case, um, you might get one of these spots over here. Yeah, not sure what you want to do. I think the, then the 6 for 11 might be open for us. That would be a great spot. Okay, you decide to take the 8, 10. And what do you take with it? Then the 6 for 11, I could imagine. Okay, wow. So, uh, well, I think Brown should get on the 3 for 5 here. Um, yeah, that's obviously not that great for me now, thinking of it. Because now uh, Pink does have a lot of room to get his settlement. And I don't think this is a winning setup by uh, Purple. Also, putting this road like this, you need to get two roads to get here. And probably this might not be open. It could though, but... So where do we want to settle? I do, don't think the 910 is very good here. I think we should go for the sheep port over here. That can be viable. And if we get this spot, I don't think that's very good. Yeah, okay, so that's really good here. And, well, I definitely don't want um, pink to get either the 6 for 3 or the 2 for 9. I think that's too strong. 
And I also want to start with a free run. So I do think getting on the 6 for 2 and getting to the sheep board can be quite good in this case. Also starting off with the free with the brick, but I could also place it on the 2 for 9 and getting to the 6 2. Then I get some extra sheep. But I miss out on the early sixes because it might take a lot of time. So I do think getting on the six for two is pretty good here. Getting 20 points of production in total. And Pink will get also 20 points. But his advantage over me is he will get basically yeah, better or better wheat and better sheep than me. But I do have a better port, I think. So I might outpace him in that sense. But definitely going to the sheep port is very good here, I think. And we need to compensate for the lack of wheat, especially. Yeah, so I like this uh, placement by Pink. I think Pink is in a really strong position. So definitely want to block this 8 ore, I think. Preventing him from getting a development card. But we might not be able to do that. So... I think offering a sheep for a wheat is a pretty good trade. So let's offer, let's try to do this because purple needs the sheep and I need the wheat. So if we can get an early wheat, that would be fantastic. And we do get the trade. So that's really good. And then we just settle here. I don't want to get stone from and that my brick will get stolen. That will be very painful. So that's why I decided to just place the road over here. And after we're getting to this one, we have to get some development cards and a city on 5, 9, 10. That's really good. So we do have some great numbers. That's great. We are on basically, I think, all the good numbers except the 8. Of course, if the 8 rolls a couple of amount of times, we could be in uh, trouble for sure. Again a 9, wow. So if we can get a 4 this turn, we already have the settlement. That would be very good. Okay, just a 6, it's okay. So, um, yeah, I think just 4 for all my sheep. Let's offer a sheep first. Let's see if we can get a wood or a brick here. No one is interested, so in that case, I think... Um, we could also get a development card, but if we get a victory point, for example, we have to start again. And I think getting on this uh, two for one sheep board is very useful for us. So I want to prioritize that. And you'll already see how good the sheep board can be if we are on the sheep board. So the only resources of pink are sheep and wheat. So he definitely needs an 8 right now. Wow, we do get a 5. That's also pretty good here. So, but you have to 4 for 1, I think, your sheep or your wheat. For, yeah, no one will give you ore for sure. Yeah. So you have to 4 for 1, one of your resources to get a development card. here. I think that's the play for you here. Okay, 4 for 1, your wheat for an ore, okay. Can we get a 4 here? Okay, we just get an 11. So, um, not sure if I want to hold my cards here. Or getting a development card. That could be strong as well. But it might be difficult. Well, not sure though, because there's a lot of wheat in the game. So I think getting a development card here is pretty good. And we did get the Monopoly. That's fantastic. That will help us for sure. And we do get the wheat already here. So I know, um, well, brown and pink now have the wood. Oh, and so does, no, only brown and pink does have the wood. So definitely want to keep an eye on that here. And no seven so far. That's also not what you see very often, I think, after 12 turns. Okay, so hopefully no seven here. Okay, just a 5, that's alright. And we do get an ore here. So definitely want to get the wood here, but don't want to give my ore a wheat. I could do it for a sheep though, but I don't think the sheep is very valuable at this point. The 11 did roll a couple of times as well. But definitely want to 
I think block this eight or honestly because okay and we're getting another six here so can we get a sheep for wheat trade again because uh, purple doesn't need the wheat that much I think he does have the wheat port okay so what do I do here I could get an odd development card here because there is still a lot of wheat in the game um, well, and getting Gareth plenty or even a knight to protect ourselves, that could be very good. And I don't want to get 7 out. So, victory points, okay, but I think getting a knight would be much better here, honestly. But a victory point is nice, though. We need some victory points. Yeah, so there's a ton of sheep in the game. But maybe purple's interested in getting the wheat yeah and also uh, brown is a little bit unlucky that the A didn't roll because she is a little bit stuck right now but not sure why you don't place it on the 3 for 5 I think that is way better for you because now you need 2 roads to get to the A3 over there the good thing also is that we might not get stolen from because I have two down development cards. So if you decide to steal from me, you have a chance to get it right back, especially as pink. Okay, with pink also does have a lot of wheat. Wow, again uh, a... Let's see if we can get a sheep for a wheat here. Purple might want to do this. Oh wow, okay. Brown also decides to take this trade. I would definitely do that. But can we get another wheat for sheep? Because that means I can get another development card here. Maybe purple wants to do this. Okay, nice. So we can get another development card and still having one wheat. So we are getting a ton of cards right now. And we finally do get the... Wow, and I think the 6 and 9 are... Yeah, especially the 6 is rolling. But it is also very good for uh, purple, by the way. Okay, so that's a good 7 for sure. So where do you want to place the robber? I could see placing it on the 5 wheat, I think. Yeah, that would be strong. You could also place it on the 4 wood. I don't think you want to solo block him, right? But maybe you want the sheep. Okay, nice. So from who do you steal? From pink. That's also very good. Okay, so now the war begins maybe, because now he will play his knight, if he has a knight. But who does have the wood here? I don't think anyone has wood right now. So you put it on the 6 wheat. So you... Now I think I want to block this 8 ore because... And we are getting the weeds, also very good. Oh wow, and we can get a, a settlement and a non-development card. And I think I want to do that because I don't want our or a weed to get stolen. And we get another mono, wow. That's really solid for sure. There's also some wheat in the game, pretty good amount. But not that much though. No, definitely don't want to give my ore away here. I would rather have a knight, I think, to be honest, because now I can't protect myself. And you put it either on the 10 wheat or on the 5 ore. And I have a high chance that my ore gets stolen from as well. Oh, okay, well. So you will steal from us, for sure, here, because I solo blocked you. There's the knight, and you steal from me. Oh wow, okay, so you are a little bit afraid, that's for sure. Really glad he didn't steal from me, because if he did get, keep track of the cards, he could for sure... Um,
well, still for me. And now I can get another development card here. Okay, so there's a ton of wheat in the game here. The 5 and the 6 did roll. Okay, you will get on the A3. No, oh, you only have two cards, so you can't settle here for sure. Just two brick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't like that. You have plenty here. Okay, another wood here. I think purple might be interested in getting the wood here. So what do you do with your cards here? Because I'm looking at my mono. Okay, you still have three wheat in your hand. Oh, two, yeah, three wheat. So there is wood and wheat in the game, but I don't think it's viable to mono right now. I would rather wait till there is a city. Oh wow, we get two brick here. That is really solid. Um, yeah, what do I want to do here? Not sure. Um, and don't want to give my brick to... I could place it on the 6-3 here. That could be a great settlement spot. That could be a great settlement spot, honestly. Don't want to place it here because the 5 or will be blocked a lot. I could also... That's, I think, smarter. Placing it here. I don't need the, the 3 for 1 port. And I want to keep my brick just to settle here. And it's not sure we will get a brick anytime soon. So I want to wait for... Oh, maybe I should have asked for sheep for wheat traded. Because then I could already settle here. That's definitely a mistake here. Okay, there is some good amount of wheat in the game now. But what do you do with these cards? You're a little bit stuck. Oh wow, you did have the the two ore in hand. Okay. Oh, we could get a city ourselves right now, monoing the wheat here. That could be pretty strong here. Um, yeah, I, I have two mono, so I can do that. There's a lot of wheat in the game. Yeah. So I want to city here up here on the 5-9-10. And we can get a settle here. So that's a great turf for us. And we don't produce a lot of wheat. So getting the wheat is, I think, pretty good. So we are looking great right now. And I do have another mono as well. So I definitely want to um, block this 8 ore over here. Because that's the only way... Pink can catch up with me in getting the last arm here. And you already see how good the, the city is here. Basically having our close to another city. So I will put it right back on pink here. So I do have position on him, which is really nice for sure. Okay, so in this case, I will get another development card. I think that is... Obvious here, getting large army, hopefully. Okay, we're getting a victory point, it's okay. Um, and I don't think pink will get it soon enough. Also because this 8 ore is blocked and he only has one card in hand. And we do have the flexibility already, so if we can get a 6 or a 9, we already have another... Um, Well, not a development card. So also, it's, it's, it's looking very good for us right now. Because after getting large army, we only need one more city to win the game. Yeah, so brown will definitely not win this game. And so purple did don't want, will not win this game as well. So it's looking really good for us. I think we are only 40 rolls away and we are looking very strong because of our good early roll game. So I can get another development card here. I could also city up. Okay, I don't need the wood, but I don't think anyone wants to trade me. Hey, let's see. We could also win with long road, maybe. Not sure, though. I think I want to prioritize getting a development card. 
and maybe another one if we get a victory point. Okay, we do get a knight. So what do I want to do? I think I want to save for a city, honestly. And no one wants to trade me, I think. So we might get seventh out, but we don't need the wood anyway. So I don't matter that. Yeah, and now uh, you will hopefully steal my wood. So now you will get block me for sure here. Okay, you do get a sheep, it's all right. It's not the end of the world here. Oh, nice, we do get 10 wheat over here. And don't mind this at all, that it's off or six. Can we get a five? Okay, just another seven. I think just saving for city now is the best play here. We don't need any more development cards. And I can mono the ore right now. So if pink doesn't get another city or a development card, I win the game already. Oh wow, I do have the win in hand without mono in here. So I think I would just go for that. And we are in 50 rolls, we are winning here, guaranteed. Yeah, don't mind this at all. So GG. Uh, yeah, the sheep port was really used for us. We did get some really lucky rolls in my opinion. Yeah, sometimes you need that to uh, win. So hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like these videos. And well, we keep going and uh, well, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.